We're currently in the cardiac catheter lab uh, here at this hospital um, where we perform a number of procedures which allow us to make diagnosis and also treatment of a number of cardiac conditions. The sort of patients that we might see would include patients who have problems with heart rhythm disturbances, uh, who may have problems with the heart itself or of the arteries of the heart and each of those things can be treated using interventional procedures that are, that are performed here. The procedure would involve the patient being brought to the cath lab here, lying on the table. The head would be at the far end and the feet would be closest to us here. The patient would uh, get local anaesthetic at the top of the right leg uh, and have a tiny uh, hole, uh, a tiny incision made at the top of the leg. We then place sheaths, uh, which are small tubes that allow us to get access to the vein, and we place some wires into, into those sheaths and track them all the way up to the heart. And we use the X-ray imaging system that you see behind us in order to place the wires in the correct position within the heart. And once the wires are in the correct positions, we're then, of course, able to stimulate the heart forwards or backwards and try and provoke a palpitation to try and induce the sort of symptoms the patient might be getting. And if we're able to induce a palpitation, the advantage is that we have the wires in the heart, we can try and work out what's causing the palpitation and potentially, at the same sitting, cure the patient of their heart rhythm problems doing a procedure called an ablation. Ablation is where we actually are able to deliver energy down our wires um, and that energy allows us to heat up small areas of tissue within the heart. We're talking a few millimetres at a time. And by heating up that uh, small area of tissue on the inside of the heart, we're able to burn away abnormal tissue that may be present in the heart. As well as me uh, during the procedure, there would be the radiographer who would be operating the X-ray equipment that you see behind me. There would also be the cardiac physiologist who would be in charge of the stimulator and uh, controlling all the uh, impulses that go into the wires that, that we place in the heart. And also a nurse would be giving sedation and analgesia to the patient uh, and monitoring their, their blood pressure and pulse. The patient would normally be in the cath lab uh, under sedation, but many patients are often awake during the case and are able to look at the x-ray screens that we use and can actually see the procedure as it's happening. And they often tell us that they're getting a palpitation if we provoke something. That's also very important to guide what we do to them. Uh, when we go ahead and do the ablation, we give them some, some painkiller so they don't feel the ablation. After the procedure's done, um, the tubes are removed from the top of the leg. Uh, a bit of pressure is applied to, to ensure that there's no oozing of blood from the vein. And that usually seals it very, very quickly in a few minutes. Uh, we usually then send the patients back to the ward where they're monitored closely. Most patients will be up and about uh, usually the same day. Most will go home the next day and will get back to their daily activities very, very quickly. Uh, and it really does transform patients' lives. Patients can have crippling symptoms um, prior to the procedure and after the procedure those symptoms are all gone and it can make a huge difference to the, to the quality of life that the patient experiences.